The KDE Software Compilation was formerly used as an umbrella term consisting of a desktop environment and an associated range of KDE applications produced by KDE. Prior to version 4.4, released in February 2010, the software compilation was known as KDE, which stood for K Desktop Environment until November 2009. The KDESC included only applications whose development teams chose to follow the software compilation's release schedule. As a result, many popular KDE applications, such as Amarok and Digicom, were not part of the software compilation. To date, there have been four series of releases. After that, the KDESC was split into three separate product entities KDE Plasma, KDE Frameworks, and KDE Applications, each with their own independent release schedules. History Origins <inaudible> 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 KDE was founded in 1996 by Matthias Etrich, who was then a student at the Eberhard Karls University of Tübingen. At the time, he was troubled by certain aspects of the Unix desktop. Among his qualms was that none of the applications looked, felt, or worked alike. He proposed the formation of not only a set of applications, but, rather, a desktop environment, in which users could expect things to look, feel, and work consistently. He also wanted to make this desktop easy to use. One of his complaints with desktop applications of the time was that his girlfriend could not use them. His initial Usenet post spurred a lot of interest, and the KDE project was born. Etrich chose to use Trolltech's Quart framework for the KDE project. Other programmers quickly started developing KDE, Quart applications, and by early 1997, a few applications were being released. First series On 12 July 1998, K-Desktop Environment 1.0 was released. In November 1998, the Quart Toolkit was dual-licensed under the free, open-source QPublic license and a proprietary license for proprietary software developers. Debate continued about compatibility with the new General Public License GPL, so in September 2000, Trolltech made the Unix version of the Quart libraries available under the GPL, in addition to the QPL. Trolltech continued to require licenses for developing proprietary software with Quart. The core libraries of KDE are collectively licensed under the new LGPL, but the only way for proprietary software to make use of them was to be developed under the terms of the Quart proprietary license. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Second series. Beginning 23 October 2000, the second series of releases, K-Desktop Environment 2, introduced significant technological improvements. These included DCOP Desktop Communication Protocol, KIO, an application I.O. library, KParts a component object model, which allows an application to embed another within itself, and KHTML an HTML rendering and drawing engine. Third series The third series was much larger than previous series, consisting of six major releases starting on 3 April 2002. The API changes between K-Desktop Environment 2 and K-Desktop Environment 3 were comparatively minor, meaning that the KDE 3 can be seen as largely a continuation of the K-Desktop Environment 2 series. All releases of K-Desktop Environment 3 were built upon Quart 3, which was only released under the GPL for Linux and Unix-like operating systems, including Mac OS X. It is marked stable running on Mac OS X since 2008. Unlike KDESC4, however, it requires an X11 server to operate. In 2002, members of the KDE on Sigwin project began porting the GPL-licensed Quart X11 codebase to Windows. Topic. Fourth series 
KDE Software Compilation 4, first released on of January 2008, is based on Quart 4, which is also released under the GPL for Windows and Mac OS X. Therefore, KDE SC4 applications can be compiled and run natively on these operating systems as well. KDE Software Compilation 4 on Mac OS X is currently considered beta, while on Windows it is not in the final state, so applications can be unsuitable for day-to-day -day use. KDE SC4 includes many new technologies and technical changes. The centerpiece is a redesigned desktop and panels collectively called Plasma, which replaces Kika, K Desktop, and SuperCaramba by integrating their functionality into one piece of technology. Plasma is intended to be more configurable for those wanting to update the decades old desktop metaphor. There are a number of new frameworks, including Phonon, a new multimedia interface making KDE independent of any one specific media backend, Solid, an API for network and portable devices, and Decibel, a new communication framework to integrate all communication protocols into the desktop. Also featured is a metadata and search framework, incorporating Striggy as a full text file indexing service, and NEPOM UK with KDE integration. Starting with Quart 4.5, Quart was also made available under the LGPL version 2.1, a major step for KDE adoption in corporate and proprietary environments, as the LGPL permits proprietary applications to link to libraries licensed under the LGPL. Post fourth series As of August 2014, KDE no longer provides synchronized releases of the entire software compilation, instead the software is split into three parts KDE Frameworks 5, a collection of libraries and software frameworks 5.0 released on July 7, 2014, and new major releases are made monthly KDE Plasma 5, a desktop environment, 5.0 released on July 15, 2014, and new major releases are made every three months. KDE Applications, a bundle of applications and supporting libraries, 14.12 was the first version incorporating Frameworks 5 based applications, and introduced date based version numbers. Major changes include a move from Quart 4 to Quart 5, support for the next generation Display Server Protocol Wayland, support for the next generation rendering API Vulkan, and modularization of the KDE core libraries. Initial releases of Frameworks 5 and Plasma 5 were made available in July 2014. Topic: Development. Topic: Source code. KDE SC releases are made to the KDE FTP server in the form of source code with configure scripts, which are compiled by operating system vendors and integrated with the rest of their systems before distribution. Most vendors use only stable and tested versions of KDE SC, providing it in the form of easily installable, pre-compiled packages. The source code of every stable and development version of KDE SC is stored in the KDE source code repository, using Git. KDE platform is licensed under the LGPL, BSD license, MIT license, or X11 license. Applications also allow GPL. Documentation also allow FDL. CMake modules must be licensed under the BSD license. Release cycle The KDE team releases new versions on a regular basis. Topic major platform releases Major releases are releases that begin a series version number by .0. These releases are allowed to break binary compatibility with the predecessor, or to put it differently, all following releases by .1. By.2, will guarantee binary portability API and ABI. This means, for instance, that software that was developed for KDE 3.0 will work on all future KDE 3 releases, however, an application developed for KDE 2 is not guaranteed to be able to make use of the KDE 3 libraries. 
KDE major version numbers follow the quart release cycle, meaning that KDE SC4 is based on quart 4, while KDE 3 was based on quart 3. Quart 5.0 was released the 19th of December 2012, Quart 5.2 the 12th of December 2013. And for example, KDE Frameworks 5.21.0 requires Quart greater than equals 5.4 and no longer supports Quart 5.3 cf. Quart version history equals topic Standard releases equals There are two main types of standard releases, feature releases and bug fix releases. Feature releases have two version numbers, for example 3.5 and contain new features. As soon as a feature release is ready and announced, work on the next feature release starts. A feature release needs several months to be finished and many bugs that are fixed during this time are backported to the stable branch, meaning that these fixes are incorporated into the last stable release by bug fix releases. During the KDESC 4 series, KDESC had a feature release roughly every six months. Since the split, KDE Plasma releases a new feature version roughly every three to four months. Bugfix releases have three version numbers, e.g. KDE 1.1.1, and focus on fixing bugs, minor glitches, and making small usability improvements. Bugfix releases in general do not allow new features, although some releases include small enhancements. A shortened release schedule is used. Starting with the KDESC 4 series, KDESC has a maintenance release roughly every month, except during the month of a feature release, while with Plasma 5, bug fix releases tend to happen even shorter like 2 to 3 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Lines of code KDE 1.0 had 800,000 lock. KDE 4.3 had 4,200,000 locks. Topic: <laughs> Packages. The software compilation consists of the following packages: KDE Libs, a collection of libraries that provides frameworks and functionality for developers. KDE Base, the base set of files, libraries and programs needed by the software compilation. KDE Base is divided into three parts. Applications, containing the applications that form the KDE desktop, like Conqueror, Dolphin, Crite, and Console. Runtime, applications required by KDE apps to function properly at runtime. Workspace, provides the graphical environments. KDE Plasma add-ons, additional Plasma widgets. KDE Network KDE PIM KDE Graphics KDE Multimedia Phonon KDE Accessibility, accessibility applications. KDE Utilities KDE Edu KDE Games KDE Toys KDE artwork, additional icons, styles, etc. KDE admin KDE SDK KDE bindings Applications Major applications by KDE software compilation include Arc – archiving tool Dragon Player, Media Player. Dolphin, File Manager. Falcon, Web Browser. Gwenview, Image Viewer. Kate, Crite, Text Editor. Console, Terminal Emulator. Contact, Personal Information Manager featuring an email client, a news client, a feed aggregator, to-do lists, etc. Conqueror, Web Browser and File Manager. Capete, instant messaging client KRDC, a remote desktop client. 
both the Virtual Network Computing (VNC) and Remote Desktop Protocol (RDP) protocols are supported, so Unix-like and Windows PC can be accessed using this software. As part of the GSOC, project developers helped make LibbyVink server compile on Windows platforms, allowing for a port to Windows. For more applications, see list of KDE applications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Base technologies. KHTML HTML rendering engine forked into WebKit in 2004. KJS – JavaScript Engine Kio – Extensible Network Transparent File Access Kiosk – Allows disabling features within KDE to create a more controlled environment Kparts – Lightweight in Process Graphical Component Framework Quinn – Window Manager XML GUI – Allows defining UI elements, such as menus and toolbars via XML files Phonon – Multimedia Framework Plasma – Desktop and Panel Widget Engine Solid – Device Integration Framework Sonnet – Spell Checker Threadweaver – Library to use multiprocessor systems more effectively Implementation Most KDE software uses the Quart framework which runs on most Unix and Unix-like systems including Mac OS X, and Microsoft Windows. As of 2011 CMake serves as the build tool. This allows KDE to support a wider range of platforms, including Windows. NuGetText is used for translation. Doxygen is used to generate API documentation. KDE Software Compilation – KDE Software Compilation is the coordinated releases of new software versions, gathering elements from the previous components to build an integrated core of software. The KDESC is not a product as a single entity. Caligra Suite – Integrated Office Suite KDE WebDev – Web Development Tools KDE ExtraGear – ExtraGear is a collection of applications associated with KDE. Those applications are not part of the official software compilation, but they are still part of the project. KDE Playground – This package contains pre-release and unstable software. It is a place for applications to mature. Licensing. <inaudible> 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 In November 1998, the Quart framework was dual licensed under the free and open source Q Public License (QPL) and a commercial license for proprietary software developers. The same year, the KDE Free Quart Foundation was created, which guarantees that Quart would fall under a variant of the very liberal BSD license should Trolltech cease to exist or no free version of Quart be released during 12 months. Debate continued about compatibility with the new General Public License (GPL). Hence, in September 2000, Trolltech made the Unix version of the Quart libraries available under the GPL, in addition to the QPL, which eliminated the concerns of the Free Software Foundation. Trolltech continued to require licenses for developing proprietary software with Quart. The core libraries of KDE are collectively licensed under the new LGPL but the only way for proprietary software to make use of them was to be developed under the terms of the Quart proprietary license. Starting with Quart 4.5, Quart was also made available under the LGPL version 2.1, now allowing proprietary applications to legally use the open source Quart version. Topic. See also KDE platform Comparison of X-Window system desktop environments